Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, in today's video, I'm going to be unloading my groceries. I got off work this morning and I went to Walmart, my favorite place to shop. It's either Walmart or Sam's most of the time. So this morning, Walmart was the lucky store. Okay, so I just got a few things um, to last us through the weekend. I will probably go again on Monday because this coming Monday is Lauren's birthday. So I, I'm pretty sure I'll have to go to um, get some more stuff before then. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I got and you might like it, you might not. I've never done this before, unpacking. So, hey, I decided to take a shot at it. So let's get started. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So um, this is everything that I got and it covers the whole counter. Most of the time when I go to Sam's, I have so much stuff and what I really like about shopping with my daughters is that they bring, well, we all bring the stuff in the house and they take the groceries out of the bag for me and put them on the counter. And I like to put everything up because I don't want them to put something where it doesn't go. Out of place, I don't like that out of place up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open my cabinets up so we can see where everything is. I don't have any food up here because it's too high for me to reach for one. So I'll be there. I just keep my pictures up there, my beverage pictures. I don't have any food up there. Okay, so let's see. Let me go ahead and start unbagging. See my canisters over here. I get real nervous when they start getting low. So, you know, I've been at this right here, my cornmeal and my flour, I mean, my sugar, sit on the counter for a couple of days, but I decided just to wait until I got everything to put it up, to put it in there. I got me some Pop-Tarts, okay? Um, I haven't found the flavor they like yet because I'll show you what I have in the pantry. I got some strawberry and cherry and they didn't like those too good. So I got s'mores and frosted chocolate fudge because Jalela loves chocolate. So let's hope she'll eat this better. Now, I don't know about y'all, but how many of y'all have a bag full of bags? I don't like to throw these away because the amount of dinners that I have most of the time, um, I have family coming over and I always have to go plates on hand and I always keep my bags because, you know, this is good. I like to take my work, my lunch to work in these bags and I, you can do a lot of different things with these bags. So no, I don't throw them away. All right, so I'm gonna put this over here, right there. Now, I've never bought this before. I got this on the Spanish aisle or the international aisle, Mexican aisle, whatever you want to call it. But um, it's called crackers. Now, I love saltines. And sometimes I like to eat saltines without the salt on the top, depending on what I'm putting on top of them. And so I decided to try these and I hope they're good. Let's see. You might not be able to see that. So there we go. That's what that is. mushrooms because I haven't had any sauteed mushrooms in a while. All right, the other day when I made my um, take a salad, we were talking about Miracle Whip. So I decided to get some and try some chicken salad or some potato salad with the Miracle Whip instead of the Dukes. See how they like that? And of course, I have to get my Dukes mayo. I'm gonna be making a hamburger casserole tonight for dinner. So I got the medium size, or it says um, the family size, but I got this size can of mushroom soup to go on the top. But I'm still gonna be taking a small can or regular size can and mixing it together when I have it on the stove. I bought some cabbages. Look how little those are. But the good thing is about this, they have plenty of green on it. I bought three of these. I bought another box of Sazon by this um, Iberia. This is really good. Um, my daughter, she was up here for Labor Day and she said that she actually likes this flavor better than the other brand I was using. I'm not gonna say the name because I don't wanna piss anybody off. I kind of peed somebody off when I told them that I wasn't gonna use that brand anymore. But um, this is the brand that I use now. 
and I don't want to ever run out of it. Y'all know the kids are back in school, so it's my jump bag. I got some Reese's Cups, Twix. I got some cinnamon gummy bears. And you know what? These are for me <laughs> because I love cinnamon, so I got that for me. And I got some um, Pro. This is sour gummy worms. Now, this is about as sour as I can take. I can't take it too much more sour than this. And Jalela and Lauren both like the Hershey's candy bars. So needless to say, this is going upstairs in my room because if I put it down here, if I leave it down here in the kitchen, they'll run through it too quick. Like the gummy worms can go down here. Some Nutella because Jalayla loves this. Lauren does not like chocolate that much, but Jalayla is a chocoholic and she will eat this whole jar if I don't watch her. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be careful with it. Sometimes we find this under her bed. I, I, I promise you, <laughs> she loves it. Another dry mayo because you can't have too much. And I'm all out, so one of them's gonna go ahead and go in the refrigerator. And that's, again, thanks to Jalayla. She loves mayonnaise. I love it too, but not like she does. My oldest daughter, Sierra, she eats mayo on cabbage, green beans. She slathers it on her sandwiches. I don't want it that much. I don't want it dripping because it, I, I just don't want it dripping because it might make me sick the thought of it. But I love Duke's mayonnaise though. So. You can't get enough of ground beef. For some reason, ever since Walmart had that recall, um, we didn't experience a recall up here, but we experienced the ground beef got higher than what um, it was normally priced at. So whenever I go to Walmart, I always grab me some more, some ground beef. Now this is two whole chickens. Um, this is what a brand they carry at Saint at um. This is a brand that they carry at Walmart, so this is what I got. I look for Tyson whole chicken, but I didn't, I didn't see it. And I'm gonna um, inject one of those birds and cook it in the air fryer that I have. So that's enough video. All right, this is my other two cabbages. Hershey's chocolate syrup for Jalela. Okay, this is my whole rub. It's by Iberia. I've never tried it before, but I was curious. You know, that we have a grocery store up here called Publix and they have a rotisserie chicken. I like their lemon pepper and I like their Maho rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna try this out and see what it tastes like. And you remember the last time when I cooked the um, hamburger casserole and I said that McCormick used to carry the hamburger seasoning salt? Look at that. This is the only size that I could find, guys. So I bought two of them. I'm gonna be using some of this today when I make the, cas the hamburger casserole. And my spices are over here.
Okay, the chocolate syrup is going on the cabinet. We will not be caught dead without oodles and noodles. Now, um, I grew up calling these oodles and noodles, so it doesn't matter how old I get, I'm probably always gonna call it that. But this is the brand that we like to eat. Any other brand is trash to me. My family would eat different brands, and now they have the spicy bowls that we get sometimes, like in the beginning of the pandemic at Sam's. They had these spicy chicken bowls, then they had a spicy bowl. Now we used to love those, but I can't find them anymore. They don't carry them anymore. So we went back to this right here, and these never failed. This is me and Jalayla and Monty's favorite. Lauren likes this right here, the sunbeam bread. She will not touch this. She'll eat it, but she doesn't like it as much. So I have to buy two different types of bread in this household. Ham hocks. I love ham hocks. They season everything pretty good. And look at this. This is from Walmart. Look at all that delicious meat that's on here. <laughs> and it's three in here and it's 615. But most of the time I go to Walmart to get my ham hocks because I don't find pieces or ham hocks with this much meat on it. Nowhere but Walmart. Look at all that meat on that one. And I'm gonna put these in the freezer. That back from my husband. He loves it. Um, I'm gonna try to cook some in this air fryer probably Sunday because most of the time if I'm off on Saturday and Sunday, I love to cook Sunday breakfast and everybody's used to that. So I might try to cook this in the air fryer. My Most of the time I cook it in the oven. And I bought a little bag of okra because I'm gonna be making a bulk okra video later on today. I rolled by the little produce stop this morning and she wasn't open again this morning either. I was supposed to upload a video on Bald Oprah yesterday, but when I went by there, she wasn't open. So I, I can't remember um, if she's open during the week. I think she was, I think she was open last week when me and Monty went there. So I don't know what's going on. The sign is not even there anymore. And there was like a barrier, a rope barrier where you couldn't even turn in the driveway. But I did see some activity this morning compared to no activity yesterday. They just didn't have anything open. Okay, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill up my canisters with everything over here. Then I'm gonna fill up my cereal. I didn't buy any cereal today because we have enough to last us for, net, for the next couple of weeks. But I do have containers that I keep my cereal in. And let me show you something. I did have it up there on top of the refrigerator, but short people. <laughs> I can't reach it up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in the pantry today. It's gonna be right there on that shelf right there. And I have those Pop-Tarts down there because the box is too big to go up there with the other Pop-Tarts. So I'm gonna have to take those out and then I'm gonna get those cereal in these containers over here. So I'll be right back. This is short people problems right here. See this ladder? <laughs> It goes up three flights, and uh, I need all those sometimes, depending on what I'm reaching for. Then I'm gonna put my beans up here.
So when we go to the store, we're gonna have to get Lucky Charms and Frosted Flakes. This one is finished. I have all my pasta and my rice and beans up there on the top. I need some more shelving. They only, it only, only, this pantry only came with four, with three shelves. This pantry only came with three shelves. That's not gonna be enough. I need another one up there and I need at least one more down there at the bottom. So uh, <laughs> I'm running out of room. So the cereal is gonna do good right here because I'm gonna tell you, those girls, they hate to get a ladder to go up there on the top of the refrigerator and try to get those cereal too. So I gotta make some more name tags because those look kind of raggedy. Um, I have six canisters. One of them can't fit, so I put the oatmeal back on top of the refrigerator. All right, now we're gonna get the other canisters filled up, and then we're gonna, let's get this meat in the refrigerator first. I don't work up a thirst. Okay. So as soon as I get finished with this, I'm gonna go start and take a nap. I gotta be back up. It's 10.30. I have to be back up by the time the girls got to school. And they, they must let out at about 2.15 or 2.20 or something because by the time I go to the door at 2.30, they're already off the bus. yellow cornmeal. I think that it makes everything look so pretty. I definitely like the yellow cornbread. I tell you what, I'm, I wish they made the corners as tough as the top because honey, Half time when you go to the grocery store, this stuff is all spilled everywhere. That's why I had to put this in this bag because it was busted open. I if I got it home. There are no meal bugs in these creases because sometimes when you get flour and cornmeal, I don't know about sugar, I've never saw anything in sugar like that, but flour and cornmeal, they'll get those meal bugs in there and they'll lay eggs. So make sure you check the creases. Look at that. Messiness everywhere. There we go. And I'll come out here and clean these up a little bit later, but not right now. I need to find me a new label maker because these things have gotten old. Push that down in there. measuring cups in here because it's just easy to grab. Those of you who don't use these two gallon Ziploc bags, I love them. They're a lifesaver. They make even bigger than that at the hardware store.
right down in there. And last, last of the sugar. This sugar canister gets the most use. Oh, all right. I feel my tire coming down on me. Now I get Domino's sugar now, because let me tell you what, I used to be a Dixie Crystals girl, but I don't know what's going on, but within like the last few years, every time I get Dixie Crystals, it's all clumped up together. So I don't know if it's moisture in the store, but Domino's is never like that. So I don't buy Dixie Crystals anymore because I want my sugar to be just like this. I want it to be pourable. I don't want it to be one big sugar cube because I can't do anything with that. Okay guys, if you're still with me, if I haven't bored you to death, how about giving this video a like, give me a thumbs up. That way YouTube will be sure to share this video. Okay, so. Oh my goodness. Had a busy morning. I'm gonna end up buying another one of these because my brown sugar is in here. I have my chips. These are toffee chips. Oh, I think those are melted. No, they're not. They're just packed together. Oh, I have my coconut in here. And I think this coconut looks brown. I think I'm probably gonna throw that away. Both of them. Now these toffee chips, and this is Heath. Both of these are Heath. And I bought this to make a dessert with, with cream cheese and apples. I'm gonna make that for y'all one day. So let me dump this mess out. Okay, so I've cleaned my jar. It was kind of nasty looking. And I'm gonna put my chips, toffee chips back in here. And my white chocolate chips. And I'm gonna put my powdered sugar back in here. I need to be getting another canister so I can separate that. And I'll just put it over here and I'll have one right here too. And let me ask you guys something. Has anybody noticed besides me that you can't find boxes of powdered sugar anymore? Now you look up there at the very top, that box of powdered sugar I've had for a while. And I don't know if it's a pandemic thing or what, but right there, <laughs> up there, the Dixie Crystal, you see right next to the fudge brownies, you see the powdered sugar and then you see a bag of powdered sugar. I can't find a box of powdered sugar anymore, 10 eggs. I'm too short, I don't wanna reach all the way up there. But um, if anybody else has been having that problem or you know a store that carries the box of powdered sugar, let me know so I can start getting them. I don't really like the bags. I mean, you could measure it out. It'll tell you how much powdered sugar to put in your recipes. Most of the time they give you a cup measurement, but that's just a question I just want to know. So if you guys know, let me know. Okay, so that's everything in that cabinet. All clean and organized. And yes, I like for everything to be facing me. I don't wanna have no cabinet where everything jumbled up. So that's all done. I'm gonna come over here to the other one. And this is, all, this is my spice cabinet over here. This is where all the flavor is, right there. And I like everything to look out at me i like everything to be facing outward because i want to know where everything is i want to know automatically what i need what i don't need even though this right here these spices are doubled in there so i got that second row i can actually make it a third row too without having a problem closing it but i just haven't gotten it yet i don't know what else i need so that's it i have dishes under that cabinet right there and then i have food under that cabinet right there 
So that's everything I have there. And everything has to be organized. My syrups and everything is back there behind the hot sauce. That's that Nutella. And I just like everything to be organized. Everything looking at me. I remember <laughs> when I used to go down to my stepmom's house, my dad's house, and I used to straighten her cabinets up every every time I went down there for a visit because I wanted her to be, you know, I wanted the cabinets to be organized better, even though I wasn't doing any cooking in her cabinet, but I used to love to go to the grocery store with my stepmom and I would always put the groceries up for her. And when I would do that, I would just help her out and straighten up everything for her. That was me as a teenager. And while I'm at it, let me go ahead and say my mom, my bio mom, she didn't like her cabinets <laughs> to straighten out either. She didn't have her cabinets straightened out. I would always straighten them out for her too. So I was used to seeing my cabinets straighten out. So I would straighten out our cabinets at home too. So I ain't taking no pop shots at my stepmom. I love her to death. Okay, guys, we are done today. This is everything. I got everything put up. Oh, let me go over here right quick and show you where my noodles are. Okay. This is my noodles. I don't have any lights in my cabinets, in my closets, so I have uh, mostly paper products in here. The only thing I have, in, only food I have in here is my noodles. So I'm gonna take them and put them in the pantry later today, but right now, this is what this looks like. And I need to take all that tissue and paper towel and put it in the garage so that I can get some more food in here. And what I'm gonna do is, it's getting ready to turn fall. I don't know what this fall, with the flu season and everything else going on around here that may get worse, I'm gonna start back stocking up on my food. So I'm getting ready to make some room. It's like I'm gonna be nesting for a pregnancy. But I'm gonna be making some room and I'm gonna be put, filling this here up with just different things, food items. I'm gonna take all this paper products out here, or most of it anyway, and put it in the garage. Okay guys, I know I've talked y'all to death today and I am so tired. I'm getting ready to go upstairs and go to bed. Look, I gotta find something to put up there in that cabinet. I think I have crackers back there. Probably shouldn't have said that because now they're gonna be trying to get a ladder and go back there and eat up my darn crackers. I keep my club crackers, my Ritz crackers, and my graham crackers up there out of sight because if I don't, they'll eat every last bit of them up and leave me with empty boxes. <laughs> okay guys, we're done with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if I get a lot of views on this, I may do some more unpacking groceries or taking you guys with me to the grocery store. It depends on what the likes or how many likes I get for this video. Okay. Okay, so boy, am I tired. Um, it's eight minutes until 11. So I have a few hours I can go to sleep. Um, I'm gonna upload this video after I finish editing it and I'm gonna lay down and close my eyes for a few minutes because when those girls get off that bus, it's gonna be full speed ahead. I'm gonna have two of my grandbabies this weekend, Dee Dee and Tamaya, and oh my God, the four kids are gonna run me to death, I know it. All right guys, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you wanna be notified each time I upload a new video, hit the notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.